this is the opening, right? The episode just started. There's. I can't wait another week. I can't wait a week. Oh, the duality of Deku and Shigaraki. Oh, I love it already. Okay, it's kind of vibey. Ooh. I, I think they're one of my favorite villain relationships in the show. Twice and Toga. Dabby and Endeavor? Toya question mark? I've still got the theories. My boy Shigaraki overlooking what seems to be a devastating thing he just did. What? But then we're vibing again, you know? Ooh, that cut to Deku. Come on. I can't lie. Nope. Damn. I'll stop. Damn. Oh, I can't look at the preview either. I can't look. I can't look. Well, that was quite the ending right there. I'm a little just off the high of the episode still because it just ended and it ended off so great. But I love it showed a lot of the relationships between the characters and just how they feel. Like it showed Deku and then Uaraka and then cut to twi Toga and Twice. And then it showed Spinner, the rest of the league, or now the Paranormal Liberation Front. I loved that mysterious shot of Dabby touching that poster of Endeavor, especially because, you know, the theories about Toya and this, that, or the other. I don't want to get too deep into that because I don't want anyone to be spoiled. You never know what people, you know, but I'm just saying, I'm sure we're going to get some crazy information, some crazy reveals, some crazy fights, absolutely, in this season. And it's a lot between the duality of All Might, All for One, or All for One, One for All, and then the successors of that Deku and Tomura. So I am here for it. I am super ready. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, subscribe, all that jazz. Have a great night, Dapper Squad. Peace out.